Let's talk about the major lakes in India and we have all the markings in yellow as you can see are the major lakes. We would start with the lakes region by region. So we'll first talk about the lakes of north then we'll be moving towards northeast and finally west and south India. Now what are the major lakes as you can see Vula Lake, Dal Lake, Pangongso, Somarari are some of the major lakes in the regions of Kashmir, Ladakh, Leh and Jammu regions. So let's focus on these one by one. So let's talk about the first lake which is the Dal Lake. Dal Lake as we know lies in the region of Srinagar. It's one of the freshwater lakes and known for its beauty because you have lots of tourism associated to the two lakes the Dal Lake and the Wooler Lake. So Dal Lake in Kashmir is one of the major lakes which is one of the major tourist centers in Srinagar. The next important location that we would be discussing is the Wooler Lake. Now Wooler Lake lies in the Bandipura region again one of the very major lakes and one one of the largest freshwater lakes in Jammu Kashmir region. The next important lake that we would focus is Somarari. Now Somarari we have already covered in our class on geography of Leh Ladakh. Now Somarari is one of the lakes which is uh, a kind of lake which is uh, in the protected area first of all and is known for its uh, its depth because you have huge mountain ranges across either sides of it as you can see in this 3d projection you have the huge mountain ranges on either side of it so Marari is one of the glacial lakes it is also uh, in the Changthang uh, region and one of the very popular places for tourism purpose the next is Pangongso it was in news recently and Pangongso is one of the lakes where you have division of a section of it to India and the remaining of the section of Pangongso lies in China. So it cuts across the Indian border as you can see you have the borderline going here and across this border you have a part of it lying in India and the remaining in China. Now, Pengongso is an endoric lake that means you do not have any drainage coming in for the Pengongso lake. You have only the glaciers that are there. So it's again a very very important lake in the region of Ladakh. The next is the Mansar lake in Jammu. So we covered the lakes of Kashmir, we covered the lakes of Ladakh. Coming on to the region of Jammu, you have the Mansar lake. Now Mansar lake is in the region of Jammu, again, uh, most of the area, as you can see, has a lot of inhabitation around the lake. And definitely, it's one of the major tourist centers in Jammu. So, Mansar Lake is important. Coming to the region of Himachal Pradesh, you have two major lakes. The first lake that we would be talking about is Chandratal. Now, Chandratal lies in the region of Lahul Spiti district of Himachal Pradesh. Very, very important lake and a uh, well-preserved lake important from tourism perspective. The next is Parashar Lake. Parashar Lake lies near Mandi town. So Mandi is again one of the famous inhabitations. So as you can see you have inhabitations around and this is the region where you have uh, Buddhism that is preached in the region of Mandi and this temple is a uh, this region has a temple which is dedicated to the Buddhist style which is the pagoda styles of temples that are there. So Parashar Lake is historically important religiously significant lake that is there. The next is Govind Sagar. It lies in the Bilaspur district of Himachal Pradesh. It is one of the major reservoirs of the Bhakra Dam. And Govind Sagar Lake has been important because as we discussed, it lies in the region of Himachal Pradesh in the Bilaspur and Una district. So two important districts being covered and part of Bhakra Nagal project. So very, very important. It's a reservoir dam. It's a man-made uh, dam that is seen here. Uh, the next is Bhimtal. Now Bhimtal and Nainital two important lakes in the regions of Uttaranchal uh, or present day Uttarakhand. Now Bhimtal lies in the town of Bhimtal. It's a masonry dam that has been built and the idea was to bring in a storage facility and water facilities in the nearing, uh, nearby area. So it had been built uh, late in uh, 19th century and has been a very important lake for the people residing there. The next is Nainital. As you can see, numerous inhabitation surrounds the lake. So you have a huge densely populated region which is in the Nainital, around the Nainital Lake. Most of the buildings are around the lake itself. The town itself we could say is around the lake. 
uh, it's a kind of kidney shaped town uh, sorry kidney shaped lake and you have uh, uh, the naini lake as it is called as within the nainital uh, it's an important lying in the kumau district of himachal pradesh so that is again uh, sorry him kumau district of uttarakhand uh, my apologies okay so that is where you have the naini lake or the nainital the next is in sikkim in sikkim we would be talking about three lakes the first is in east sikkim and this is the the songmo lake songmo lake is important it is also known as changu lake it's a glacial lake so all the lakes of uh, sikkim would be more or less glacial in origin and this is the lake lying in the east sikkim i repeat again and it's the songmo or the changu lake the next lake is the kichio palri lake and this lies in the west sikkim so we covered east sikkim with songmo lake west sikkim with kichio palri lake and this is in uh, the region close to the gangtok the capital of sikkim so you have the kichu palri lake in the west region coming on to north sikkim you have solamo now this is again glacial in origin and it is one of the highest lakes in the world that is believed to be with an altitude of more than 5000 uh, meters that is there so solamo is an important lake lying in north sikkim so three lakes of sikkim we have covered moving on to northeast india so the most important and most popular lake that you must have heard about is the loktak lake loktak lake is one of the famous lakes of manipur it is known as one of the largest freshwater reservoirs in northeast india you have uh, fumaris that are famous that float within the lake and it is uh, located in the moirang district in Manipur so you have the Loktak lake the next is Tamdil Tamdil is located in Mizoram so we talked about the lake of Manipur coming on to Mizoram you have Tamdil as an important lake this is close to the capital which is Aizwal and is important reservoir lake which provides water to the nearby uh, regions Haflong lake again very very important lying in the regions of Assam again important lake you have Dipor bell which is in the city southwest of guwahati and this is one of the very famous lakes which provides water to the guwahati city and uh, the poor bell lies in the kamrup district so it's a kind of permanent fresh water lake that is there the next is moving to west india you have the salt lakes two important salt lakes are sambar and deedwana so shakambari jheel or which is also known as sambar lake is the largest inland salt water lake and this is the lake where you have maximum extraction of salt that occurs uh, it lies close to the region of jaipur and ajmer in rajasthan closer to the sambar lake you have the namak jheel as it is called as and this is the deedwana lake so deedwana lake again a very major lake uh, inland salt water lake known for salt mining in this region so two important salt lakes here the next important lake is pushkar pushkar lies in the town of ajmer and this is a place where you have religious significance associated to it it is considered as one of the sacred lakes of lord brahma and you have lots of religious tourism occurring in the in the region of pushkar lake in ajmer The next is Debar Lake, which is also known as uh, the uh, Jaisalmer Lake. This is the second largest artificial lake in in uh, in, uh, in India, and it's one of the lakes lying in uh, closer to the city of Udaipur within the Udaipur district. So you have the uh, Jaisalmer Lake that is important. Coming on to Mount Abu, you have Nakki Lake, which is one of the major popular tourist destinations. Mount Abu is one of the major hill stations of Rajasthan and within Mount Abu you have the Nakki Lake you have the settlements around the Nakki Lake and a lot of activity here flourishes only on tourism the next two important lakes are from the city of lakes that is Udaipur so you have Lake Pichola and Lake Fateh Sagar so Lake Pichola is a artificial fresh water lake which has been named uh, long back in 1300s and then next to Pichola you have close close to it you have Fateh Sagar Lake which has been Uh, created by maharana fateh singh and therefore the name fateh sagar lake so two important lakes from city of uh, lakes that is udaipur coming again to the south of it you have rajsamand lake now rajsamand lake is important because you have rana rajsingh
king who built it and this is one of the uh, major lakes which drain to the nearby areas of Rajasthan district coming on to the next is the region of madhya pradesh in the region of madhya pradesh you have the indira sagar dam which is also known as the pusana dam and sorry punasa dam and this punasa dam is built on narmada river so uh, two important uh, lakes here so one is the indira sagar lake uh, indira sagar indira sagar lake sorry and the second is the sardar sarovar both of those being built by the dam so they are artificial reservoirs and hence you have the lake bodies that are there so the next is in the state state of gujarat you have in ahmedabad city kakaria lake this is one of the second largest lakes in uh, ahmedabad itself and it's a kind of circular lake which is the uniqueness of this lake uh, the next important lake sardar sarovar we have already talked about it lies on the narmada river uh, again an important lake because it's part of the dam so a uh, important man made reservoir that is seen here the next in maharashtra very important is loner lake loner lake is important because it's a crater lake you had uh, the lake formation because of the crater that was there so you had uh, eruption of an volcano ages back and because of that you had a depression that was found on the top of the volcano and that is what is known as the crater and this is because of which you can see here the color of this lake is far far different from the remaining lakes and the color of the lakes this lake is preserved as a geo heritage monument it is known for soda ash saline uh, components that are there and definitely since it's volcanic in origin the composition and the colors are much more different as contrast to any other lake Uh, it lies in the buland uh, the buldana district sorry of maharashtra the next important lake is the shivasagar lake it lies on the konya river uh, it is in the state of maharashtra and it's one of the important dams uh, important lakes as a part of the koina dam so on the koina river closer to the koina dam you have the shiv sagar reservoir or which is also known as the shiv sagar lake so wherever you have dams that that are built up you have artificial lake formations that would be there in the south kerala you have two important lake one is vembunad uh, vembunad and the other is ashtamudi both of those are very important vembunad is one of the longest lake so as you can see it stretches towards a long long distance and it is one of the longest lakes in india and one of the largest lakes in kerala it is also known for the mangrove vegetation close to it ashtamudi is important ashtamudi is a lake where you have lot of backwaters and because of the backwaters you have ample of tourism and houseboats that are there it is a unique wetland which has been preserved under the ramsar convention so ashtamudi lake is another important lake of kerala repeat we repeat again two important lakes of kerala vembanad and ashtamudi The next is the Virnam Lake. Virnam Lake lies in the Kudalore district of Tamil Nadu. It is again a very important lake of the region of Tamil Nadu. The next important lake is the Pulikat Lake. Now Pulikat Lake is the second largest brackish water lake after Chilika Lake. Pulikat Lake is important because uh, it lies very very close to Bay of Bengal, and then you have the Chembur Kam. lake this is a lake in the city of chennai uh, very very important you have uh, a major reservoir of this lake which is associated with the water supplies to the near to the town and the suburban areas of chennai so chembur uh, chembur bakam lake is very very important The next is Ulsur Lake. Ulsur Lake lies in Bangalore. It is again one of the major lakes of Bangalore on the east of the city and is again dedicated to the habitation. So water supply is essential component closer to the region of Ulsur Lake. Ulsur Lake is also known as the Halasur Lake. So both of the names are important. This is an important lake of Bangalore. So all the major cities, Chennai, Bangalore, Ahmedabad, Hyderabad, we will be talking about the major lakes. The next is Sen Sagar from Hyderabad so we were there and then uh, you have a kind of heart shaped lake that is seen within the city center there so as we said uh, the major 
cities we have covered and the major cities the lakes of the major cities we have discussed here so you have the hussein sagar lake that is there again important usman sagar is again important closer to the hussein sagar it is lying in the region of uh, hyderabad itself you have a major reservoir that has been built uh, the next is in andhra pradesh you have the koleru lake koleru lake is one of the largest freshwater lakes of andhra pradesh uh, it's a kind of shallow lake relatively shallower lake that is seen the next is chilika lake it is one of the largest brackish water lakes as we had talked about so pulikat and chilika both of them lying on the bay of bengal region and this is spread over the re uh, region of puri ganjam and khurda in odisha so a major region you also have lots of migratory birds coming close to the chilka uh, lake and it is one of the major centers for migratory birds and conservation of migratory birds coming on to madhya pradesh you have the upper lake which is also known as bhojtal so that is one of the major lakes of the city of bhopal the capital of madhya pradesh so again an important city and within the capital of the city you have another major lake that is there so as we said major cities and their lakes are important bela sagar is located in the regions of uttar pradesh very very important they are mainly source of irrigation now most of the uttar pradesh and up belt uh, sorry uttar pradesh up and bihar belt you would see is an agricultural belt and most of the lakes that are there uh, most of the waters are being used for agriculture and rain purposes so so here we have a quick summary of all the lakes that we have discussed today now as we said you have the few important lakes here that were part of jammu and kashmir region then you have the parts uh, the lakes which were part of the northeast india uh, that is the loktak tamdil have uh, haflong and the porbil haflong and the porbil in assam then you have the lakes which were part of rajasthan so you have the following lakes which were part of rajasthan of which the first two that is the samba lake and didwana lake are the salt water lakes pushkar lake is important religious sacred lake and then you have lakes from the city of lakes uh, the next important are the kakaria lake from ahmedabad then you have the ashtamudi and the vimnad lake from kerala you have the pulikat lake and the shilika lake as the brackish water lakes hussein sagar in hyderabad ulsur lake in the region of bangalore and then you have chembar bakam lake in the region of chennai as important lake upper lake which was also known as bhojtal in bhopal so the major capitals and the lakes associated to those that we have covered so in this section we have focused on the major lakes of india we would be covering many more topics many more interesting sections in geography stay subscribed have a wonderful day ahead